Hi, my name is Pablo Farias Navarro. I'm the founder of Zemba. I would like to give you a quick overview of some of the cool projects we build in our game development courses. So let's begin by looking at HTML5 mobile game development for beginners. In this course, you'll be using a framework called LimeJS to build examples such as this. For instance, a farming game where you plant different things and then at, as time goes by you have to harvest them and you make money. So you can plant all these different uh, plants and you have to plow the land first and then plant the seeds. Another example we build in this course is a very simple demo that shows you how to perform some types of animations. We also have a, a, an example on, on the physics engine Box2D on this course. So you can make something like this what I'm showing you on the screen and we built a very simple spaceship game um, this, all of these examples are responsive so they'll adjust to the screen size that you're targeting we also built a virtual pet game so we have this little pet that we can feed and it grows uh, bigger but unhappy or, or you can make it you know happier but less healthy and you can also give it toys so that it stays happy so that's another example we built on this course Let's move on to the next course. Make HTML5 mobile games with Phaser. Phaser is one of the most popular game engines, engines nowadays. And what we build in this course is basically this really awesome runner that if you're familiar with the game called uh, Jetpack, Jetpack Joyride, this kind of resembles a bit. It's also a responsive game. It's going to work on a tablet, on a phone, on the desktop, on any device that you want to use. Intro to HTML5 game development. In this course, we build this um, Mario-like game where you control a character. It's both for desktop and mobile. If you play it on the phone, it's going to show controls for, for, the, for, the, for the movement and for the jumping. So that's a really cool course that we have. HTML5 game development by example, Veggies vs. Zombies. Have you ever played Plants vs. Zombies? Well, this game resembles, it, it's a defense game inspired in Plants vs. Zombies, where you um, have to defend your house from a zombie attack. As you collect sun energy, you can plant plants that will keep your keep the zombies away. So it's it's a defense game. It's it's built for mostly for mobile, but it works on desktop too, as you can see. Uh, and it's pretty fun. It's not an easy game. You're gonna have a hard time beating it. You get of course access to all the source code. You can modify it, publish it as your own, reskin it, do whatever you want with it. So let's move on. HTML5 game development by example, educational game. Because fun can also be educational. So in this game, it's a math game, you have to answer the multiplications correctly. And as you do, your character will move faster and hopefully win the race to reach the princess. That's at the very end of the level. So for instance, I'm beating the game now and I'm reaching all the way to the end. So I just beat the game. Create a HTML5 game from scratch. In this game, we build this 2D demo um, where you shoot, where you shoot these ghosts, and their dead bodies will stay in the level. This can, of course, be a starting point for more complex games, and it teaches you how to use the canvas directly. So, in the previous courses you were looking at, we were using the Quintus game engine. In this course, we don't use any game engine, but you learn how to work with the canvas directly. So, if you're serious into HTML5 game development, you need to know the canvas um, without frameworks, just to understand how it really works. You can't always depend on frameworks. Lastly, we have Game Development and Coding for Children, which is a course made for children, as the name suggests. We'll be using the free Scratch platform created by the MIT, and your kids, instead of just watching TV all day and doing nothing, are going to learn how to create their own interactive animations and stories by working on a whole set of different um, mini games and mini animations and stories. Um, they'll, they'll learn the basics of coding, of programming, and of game development. So, thanks for watching. 
Um, you can find more information about these courses on the platform you're using at the moment. Just go to the profile page of Zemba or Pablo Farias Navarro, if it's under my name. Or you can also visit zemba.com for more information. Best of luck with your projects.